Hi everyone, thank you for being here today. My name is Montana and today we're going to do a hip mobility workout. You don't need any props except for maybe a rolled up blanket or a pillow to put underneath your heel during a couple of the postures. So let's get started. We're going to start off today in child's pose. So take a moment, hips width distance apart, toes together. Just gently let your hips rest on the heels of your feet. Melt your heart down onto the mat. Let's pause here and take a few deep breaths. And set our intention for this workout today. to just walk your dog out back and forth. Take whatever's comfortable in your body. With our inhale, I want you to take a step. Put both feet on the outside of your hands and gently squat all the way down into a Buddha squat position. Hands at heart center. Gently Press the knees away for elbows. Nice long back, nice elongated neck. With an inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, squat all the way down, plant your hands, and step both feet back. We're going to be here for 10. Rise all the way up, squat down, and step, and step back. This is kind of a modified burpee. If you guys know what a burpee is, I'm just gonna warm up the hips. First, four. Five. If you want to make it a little more intense, you can always jump up on either side of your hands, or you can keep it exactly as it is. Last one, step both feet back, lift both feet up, hands overhead for 10. Take your right foot and step out wide on your mat. Take a deep inhale here and gently come to goddess squat. You want to make sure your knees are over your heels, your thighs are parallel, and your hands are at heart center. We're just going to rise up, both arms up, and come down for one. Two, three, four, five. Really feel those hips open up. Six, seven, eight. Just a couple more. And ten. Come back down. Put both hands on your knees. Gently press your knees away and twist to the left. Take a nice inhale through center and twist to the left. And gently rock back and forth right here, whatever feels good in your body. When you're ready, we're gonna bring our hands back to heart center we're going to do a couple little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift your right heel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Right heel down, left heel up, four, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Really find your edge heel, both heels up. Find your edge here, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels come down, arms up overhead, hinging at the waist, fall forward into a forward fold position. Deep inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, I want you to gently squat into the right side. This is called Skandasana or Ninja Pose. So if your ankle doesn't have enough flexibility in it, that's okay. This is where you're going to use the rolled up blanket. And just gently begin to point your toe forward and back, rotating the hip in your socket. over to the other side. Oh, this feels so nice. And rotate for one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go back and forth on Skandasana. So one, that's one, two. If you wanna make this a little more difficult, you can take your hands to heart center um, if that's too much for you, that's no problem. Just keep your hands on the mat. I think we're on five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to end on the left hand side. Gently turn, rotate your hips to the back, put your left knee down. Uncurl your toes, interlace your fingers and place them over your right knee, and then gently push the knee away. We're going to come to low lunge position. You want to have your shoulders back, spine long, neck long. You should be feeling this in your left hip flexor. Take a deep breath here. You guys are doing great. When you're ready, put both hands on the mat, heel toe your right foot to the edge of the mat. Gently take your right hand and place it on your right knee and press the knee away. Make sure your knee is tracked over your heel and you're allowing your big toe to gently peel up off the mat. down to the mat, curl the left toes under, and gently rock back and forth. This is called lizard pose, and it's a great pose. Rock for five, six, seven, Gently place your knee back in the mat, come up on your hands, and if this is available to you, have to bring your left knee in and grab it with your right knee. If this is not available for you, you can stay right where you are and you can gently just press the right knee out again. It's going to be your four, five. going to just walk it out to the other side. Come back into your low lunge position. Interlace your fingers, press them on your left knee, and gently just press the knee away. Nice long neck, 
nice long back, shoulders back. And gently just breathe into that right hip flexor for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring both hands down to the mat. Heel toe your left foot out. Curl your right toes under and gently rock back and forth for your lizard lunge position. For five, four, three, two, one. And put your knee back down. Gently come down onto your forearm. Left hand on your left knee and gently press the left knee away. Making sure to protect the left knee, making sure the knee's trapped over the heel, and you're allowing your big toe to get into the revolving back. For five, now if you took the bind on the other side, go ahead and take it on this side. Gently lift the right foot up, grab it with your left hand. Right foot. You have it. Walk yourself back facing forward. And gently squat down. If you have to wiggle just a little bit to get your hips in that position, that's fine. And meet me in Buddha squat. So you want to have both heels on the mat. If you don't have the flexibility in your ankles, that's okay. Just get a blanket, uh, roll the blanket pillow or whatever you need to put underneath your heels. And meet me back here. We're going to put hands at heart center, gently pressing the knees away. Shoulders back, back straight, long neck. I want you to be aware of your elbows pushing your knees out. If you move your elbows, do your knees collapse or can you hold them out? So our goal is to be able to hold the knees out and we're gonna pulse. Remove the elbows and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, relax. We're gonna gently lift halfway up for one, two, three, four, nice and slow, controlled, five, halfway there, six, seven, Eight, don't forget to breathe. Nine, and 10. Woo. All right, meet me back in Buddha squat. We still have one more pose here. For this posture, we are going to do knee dips. This is a really great hip mobility exercise, but it is a little challenging. So just do the best you can. We're gonna gently dip the knee and then dip the other one. That's one two, three, four, five, we're halfway there. Stay with me, you guys are doing great. Keep it up. Seven, eight, nine, whew, ten. We're gonna come all the way down on our bottom and come into a wide leg position. So from this position, let's first just shake our legs out. Whew, that was a lot of hard work. <laughs> Great job. All right, I want you to 
practice rolling on your hips. So first thing you wanna think about is turning your toes out and tucking your tailbone in. So I want you to pretend like your pelvis is a bowl of water. And as you tuck your tailbone in, you're dumping water out of the back. And as you roll over and you point your toes back, you're dumping water out of the front. So you wanna go back, tucking your tailbone and then forward. So you should feel your hips rotating and opening up. As you roll back, the toes go back. As you roll forward, the toes go forward. So for one, for two, for three, four, five. With a straight back, gently begin to walk your hands out in front of you. The most important thing here is to keep your back straight and just gently walk your hands out. Make sure you're not doming your back or crunching your neck, okay? You don't want that. Gently walk yourself out to a place that's comfortable for you. We're gonna be here for a moment. So just take this moment to relax. Bring your awareness back inside. Ask yourself, is this a comfortable pose for me? If it's not, where am I feeling the discomfort? If it is a comfortable pose for you, it's great. Where does it feel the best? This is our opportunity to observe ourselves without judgment, just becoming aware. On your next inhale, begin to walk your hands back toward you. If you need to use your hands as an assist to pull your legs back together, I know I have to do that. And then gently let's turn to face forward on our mat. We're gonna lay all the way down on our back, knees bent. You wanna be able to graze your heels with your middle fingers. And then we're gently just gonna allow our knees to fall to the left and then bring them up and let them fall to the right. This is called windshield wiper. It's one of my favorite movements. When you're ready, meet me back at center. We're going to take both feet and we're going to place them if you're trying to stomp on the ceiling or in my case stomp on the sky you want to have your feet flat take both hands and grab around the outside outer edge of your feet take your knees on the outer edge of your rib cage and then gently begin to pull this is supposed to be a feel good posture so don't force anything Try to keep your tailbone sealed to the mat, neck long, shoulders relaxed. This is called a happy baby. And gently rock back and forth like a happy baby would. Great job. This is our last posture. When you're ready, you can go ahead and put both feet down the mat. 